Hi everybody, this is Lorelia, and today um, I have for you another video testimonial. Want to share with you um, a client of mine, Alicia, and she is going to share with you her um, process about um, her um, uh, getting funding for the PPP loan. So Alicia, if you can share with us um, how everything went and the results that you got. Oh, thank you, and um, I am delighted to do this testimonial for you. It was late, I don't know, February, March-ish, and I was just, I had heard about the PPP and didn't know much information about it and was on YouTube, and I came across your video, and what I liked about it was it was to the point, and you even had links where I could go to actually find more information and apply and so i actually did okay um so, i applied for the eidl because i didn't want a loan <laughs> sounds great and, and then um the um the sba replied back and said we got your application the eidl actually works with the ppp so you've got to apply for the ppp and i did that and um not too long after that, I got an email from my bank saying that I was approved and um, I signed my the doc, uh, DocuSign documents and, and got my money pretty quickly. And But there was a holdup with the EIDL mm -hmm. and uh, they said that they weren't going to grant it to me. I sent my paperwork to the SBA and they said, well, we're still not going to grant you. And then like two weeks later, I got an email saying we need some information and it was my banking information and I got the EIDL. But what I do want to share with people is mm -hmm. based on what I thought about myself and my business where I was, I was not thinking I would be eligible for the PPP or the EIDL. And one of the things that you really stressed was you don't know unless you try. Mm -hmm. And this is funding that's available and don't don't say Just no mm -hmm. before you even know what opportunity is out there for you so i credit you with giving me the confidence to think okay well maybe i should mm -hmm. apply for the eidl not even thinking that i'll be eligible and actually be awarded the ppp um, so I really appreciate that information. And then there were a couple, during the process, I actually had questions about the process mm -hmm. and I would post questions to the videos and you would reply. And that really, um, was just really helpful. And I, I appreciate that because out there to me, YouTube, not all individuals who post videos are responsive. Yeah. Exactly. And I, what I want people to also know is not only did Alicia um, take action with the, uh, the SBA funding that was provided, but she is currently a client. So um, right now um, we're working, you know, together. And how has that progress, I mean, process been in terms of, you know, the information that you've been getting exposed to and what I've been sharing? um it's it's been great i i had no i my background being in the the financial services and my husband being a banker i'm not saying i knew everything but i knew a lot <laughs> but i did, did know there was a a shortfall and there are some um that piqued my curiosity and my interest in me being more, wanting to be more prepared for more funding and so I did hire um, Lorelia as a coach and it's been really great. She has a lot of good information. Um, she tells you the real deal is not sugarcoated. Mm -hmm. She's very transparent. And if you need um, some additional steps, she's very patient. So I've been really I, I, I've been really pleased with the, the progress that I'm making and I feel really hopeful about where things are going with me. Okay. So I appreciate, I appreciate you. Thank you. So, um, you know, so that really sums it up. Uh, like Alicia, you know, says she's pleased if you're someone who is looking for business funding, trying to navigate yourself through these waters, 
Um, the proof is here um, and I will continue um, sharing information and my knowledge and expertise and how I can help others get funding. And um, until the next video. I want you, to say Alicia. one more thing. Sure. And <laughs> um, I've been out in the space in terms of uh, working with coaches. This is not my first coaching experience. It's mm -hmm. been a very good one. Um, but I will also say uh, it was a stretch for me at this point in time in my life. Um, on a financial basis, but it was something that I could do. Mm. So I just want to encourage people, um, invest in yourself, take a chance, stretch yourself. Um, and uh, it, it just has just really been very helpful. So I want to thank you for that as well. Exactly, exactly. I'm <laughs> glad you mentioned that about investing in yourself because that's so important. People want change, but they don't want to do anything different. They don't want to do anything that's going to make them uncomfortable, you know. So it's but so far you can get with free stuff. And I tell people that the free stuff is to give you awareness. But when you get to the point where you're re ready to implement and take action, that's when you got to do something a little more. So thank you so much, Alicia. And um, you're welcome. Bye-bye.